Hello everyone, and welcome back, once again, to Gary's Mod. And today, the map I'm going to be exploring, at your request, is RP Waystation. And I'm super stoked to try this out, because from what the Workshop page describes, this is a reimagining of a modded map from one of the Stalker games. It's been basically fleshed out in order to kind of give it more detail, more of a world to explore, and brought over to Gary's Mod. And, you know, I, I really want to dig into this, because Stalker is a world that I absolutely adore. Because, think about what it is. It's essentially modern-day fantasy, but a fantasy within our world. A fantasy that comes about as a result of humankind messing with things it doesn't understand, and causing this kind of rift in our world, this place where... Reality just doesn't work the same way as everywhere else, but presumably is still within the realm of science. Just outside the realm of what we understand. Now, if I'm getting anything wrong about the world of Stalker, that's because, for as much as I love the concept, I unfortunately haven't really gotten a chance to play it very much. It's just a game that requires you to really get sucked in. To really smell the roses, and unfortunately that's just not something I have a lot of time for these days. But I can make time. I'm thinking I might start a playthrough of one of the games once I'm done with Darkwood. My, the frogs sure are aggressive today. Oh my, look at this. See, this is exactly what I mean. Uh, what I love the most, I think, about Stalker is how... It's almost as if some fantasy world was just teleported right on top of our world. I mean, that's really what it is. It's the new world, the fantasy world, coming in and overtaking the old world, but still leaving all these remnants so that the two things coexist simultaneously. I kind of want to start exploring this, but <laughs> I don't know how deep this water is going to be, and you know me, I don't like, I don't like water in creepy games. Least of all when sounds like that are coming out of them. I'm going to take one for the team and try it. <laughs> okay, waist height, that's not the worst thing imaginable. I really wish I could take this boat for a spin. Alright, waiting... 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 Uh, let's see if we can't duck in here. You know what? I'm actually a little bit curious. What happens if we take a dive through this doorway? I'm uh, probably gonna want our handy-dandy flashlight for this. Alright. <laughs> <sighs> okay, that's enough role-playing for now. I just really, really wanted to do that. I just felt so compelled to... RP that. Really immersive having to actually crouch down and crawl through the submerged building. I really wanted to... The, the little kid part of my brain really wanted to play that for everything it was worth. Uh, why does this feel so wrong? Being waist high in water, but in something as familiar as a house. For some reason my brain just can't compute the image. Try and take a little hop over here. Whoa, cool slide. It's shaped like a rocket ship and has... Is that going to be a smiley face on it? Man, this was the coolest kid in Pripyat. Huh. Yeah, this image of a flooded house and... Wading through it just doesn't feel right. The shadows cast by the doorways... 
the added darkness in this place is really adding another layer to the to the creep factor, like this is something that shouldn't be. As with most maps, I have no idea if there's going to be any spooks. I don't know if there's going to be easter eggs to find. There certainly were easter eggs on RP generators. Can tell you that much. Uh, but I, I did manage to get, when I skimmed the workshop page, that there's a way to flip three breakers and restore power to the underground. Now, I don't know what the underground is, but presumably I'll know it once we see it. And once we see it, I guess we'll try to do that and see if it works. See, when you time the sound effects like that, it kind of makes me think that it's not something that's just on the wind, that it's something that triggered because I got close to this particular establishment. And I don't like the idea that there might be something in here, especially something that might be under the water. Oh, when I shine my flashlight down, I can just barely see the floor, but only a foot or two in front of me. Uh, flooding it just makes it that much worse, because, look, it's all the darkened room clearing that I'm used to doing, except I literally can't see what's right in front of me but only up to a certain height. I don't know why that part freaks me out so much. The fact that it's only up to my waist that I can't see. So if something were to be standing on level with me, I'd be face to face with it, but it can lay in wait. Not even around the corner. I don't even have the protection of a wall. Oh wait, I can take shelter on that playground bridge. Oh, run, 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 run. Uh, imagine if they did actually decide to put, like, leeches or piranhas or something in this water. Up here. Safe haven. Can we get a better look? Oh, wow. I kind of thought this would just be, like, a small part of the map, but it seems like it goes on a ways. I can't even really see the end, or maybe that's just the end. Uh, a bunch of sheds back that way. You know what? I have a better idea. I haven't done this in a long time, not since GM Boreas. But let's continue our explore in style. Safe from whatever mutated alligators and brain-eating cosmic amoebas may be in here. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, now I'm gonna have to get used to the controls of this. I've only driven a vehicle in one of these videos before. And that was a jeep in Giamborius. Uh, okay, I can turn side to side. How do I move forward? Ooh, okay, I apply a little bit of gas using the trigger. Forward? Oh, this is so cool. Oh, where was this when I was a kid? Woo! Woo! <laughs> Ooh, uh,. Does this thing have a handbrake? Huh. If so, I don't know how to use it. And I don't want to risk climbing out and falling into the waters again. Oh, but I may have to. I do still want to explore some of these houses. What is that? An overpass? Hmm. Now, is this really the end? Is this all there is of the water area? Because if so, we'll get a move on, but... I don't think I have to leave the airboat behind. I'm not willing. I'm not really willing to give it up so soon. Let's explore this last house, and then we'll take it up on land. If I can remember how to get out. Oh. I think I just had an out-of-body experience. God, I wonder if this thing's still under warranty, because I don't think that's supposed to happen. Friggin' Elon, substituting technology where they should be doing quality control. Uh. See, now, when your town floods, the attic becomes the most valuable property on the block. And then again, that can go wrong for you. Although I see he's already punched holes in the roof, so at least he's prepared. 
Why does this house look so ominous? The way it's just centered in my vision, seemingly inviting me in. Yeah, there was really there was really nothing different to this place, but it's strange. You know how you know how in real life some places just have like a feeling to them, like a feeling of wrongness. For whatever reason, I'm getting that from this house right now, and I could not explain to you why. Nope. There we go. All right, let's get on out. Later, losers. Right now, what I want is to try and get on top of that over... Oh, it's a train overpass. There may not be any way for me to get a vehicle up there. Okay, so our barriers are going to be these mountains. Which means it's pretty unlikely that we're going to be able to get up onto this overpass. Hello. What's going on over there? Let's park up by this tree and... Actually, wait. Let's go see over by that tunnel. Oh, hoo -hoo. that's a little bit disorienting when you change your orientation when the airboat tilts. Ugh. Seeing my vision go sideways without my body doing so, that's nausea fuel. All right, I'm out. Ugh. I'm never going to get used to that either. Now, this must be one of those anomalies. I wonder what'll happen if I try to interact with it. Famous last words? Uh, I can't imagine going through here is going to be good for my health. Can I reach out and grab one of the rocks? No? Alright, let's wait for it to come around again and then we'll try again. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> oh, this is a good anomaly. It didn't kill me like I thought. <laughs> it's like anti-gravity. When I jump, I get a lot more air out of it. Woo! <laughs> oh, this is cool. I can't really see too well. It's like blurring my vision, but... Ooh. Can I climb the tree this way? Actually, the rocks seem to be somewhat physics-based. I kind of thought that maybe they were doing like a preset animation, but I have seen them kind of bump into the branches and interact with them. I'm only getting picked up at certain times, though. Oop. I wish I could grab onto the sides of things. I would have grabbed that branch and pulled myself up. Okay, I wish I could play around with this some more, but I got stuff to see. People to meet. Actually, I hope I don't have anyone to meet. That'd be quite scary. Yeah, even if I could get up there, it seems like the tunnel has collapsed, so I won't be able to move beyond it. But the story may not be the same for that drain. Yeah, that drain with the guttural gurgling coming out of it. We're going to be going in that one. Yep, the grate is on the ground. Oh, the creator wants us to explore this one. Uh... Hmm. Well, there's not much to explore, but it looks like somebody had a makeshift little camp in here. Uh, in the context of the Stalker universe, it's probably a great place to hide from emissions. Oh, that is so cool. I love this architecture. Anything here? No. Let's continue the hunt for strange and mysterious wonders. Ugh. Oh. oh, it is nauseating driving over rough terrain like this. Ugh. Can I climb this tower, perhaps? Ah, I can. Okay. 
Let's have a look in there, then. I'm, uh, honestly, I thought it would be a cool idea to have the airboat with me for the entire video, given the size of this map, but... God, I don't know if my stomach can take it. Oh, look at that. I always... In both VR and real-life exploring, I feel like I could stand to look up a lot more often, because you see so many interesting and even amazing things that way, but... It's just so easy to overlook. I mean, you know, you always want to keep your eyes forward or even on the ground to make sure you don't trip over something, but you know, there really is a lot to see when you look up. Okay, so this is the level of the bridge itself. I don't think we're going to be able to get the airboat up here, and I think it's too long to continue on foot this way. Alright, so what have we got? We gotta try and make a list of all the things we need to see. So there's that facility over there. And there's that building up there. Huh. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like more than just a little bit of a tripping hazard. And you trip going up the stairs on the job, you end up rolling over this walkway and onto the tracks where you get hit by a freighter. All in all, not the best way to go. Uh, nice view from up here, though. We can see all down the track. If you can stomach the fact that there's no railing behind you, maybe grasp onto the window ledge. And it looks like it might be a fun place to watch the trains come and go. Up we go. Yeah, right now I'm trying to get as high up as possible to try and take inventory on what there is to be seen, but I kind of think that we're not going to be able to see much past all this fog. Yeah, it's only now that we're up here that I can really grasp just how dense it is. We can't see very far at all. Alright, even though my instinct is to continue following the tracks, I'm going to check out whatever this facility is before moving on. Hello. Is that perhaps some kind of underground entrance I spy? Oh, that goes down much farther than it looks like at first. Okay, uh... Oh, but it's... it's flooded. Hang on. It's so quiet. Oh no, it's not flooded. That's just a puddle. Oh, but look how far back that goes. Oh, there's gonna be a ton down here. That is absolutely insane. Okay, uh, I think this will be the thing we save for last. I imagine this is what it means when it's talking about the underground. And our last objective for this video is going to be to try and restore the power, which the workshop page claims we can do. I guess I'll just start exploring the various buildings of this facility. I'm assuming most of these aren't going to have much of note in them, but eh, still, it pays to be thorough. Oh, that, that actually works. Is that... is this maybe one of the breakers that it was talking about? Uh, which one is the off and which one is the on position? I'm gonna assume that I just flicked it to on. Okay. Oh, this jeep has a Ukrainian flag on it. Now that makes sense, because I believe in the Stalker universe... It wasn't actually the Chernobyl disaster that caused the events of the games. It was actually experiments that continued there decades later, and then those went wrong. Oh, look at that. Just on the edge of the draw distance, you can see the rail tower we were at before. 
Anything in here or just a little hangar warehouse? Yeah, looks like someone else set up camp. I guess this would be like the main admin building. So like I said, I have very limited experience with the Stalker games. But something I really, really enjoy about them is how faithfully they kind of recreate, or, or not recreate, but kind of scratch the itch of Urbex. There's so many areas that are just these large open buildings and nothing in them. They really have the subtlety, the restraint, to not just throw enemies at you and pack the corridors with them. In every building, maybe there's something living in it, but usually you're just kind of walking through the empty halls alone with your thoughts. And in that way, it's a very serene game a lot of the time, especially when you're above ground. I mean, of course, most of the creatures that are calling at their home are living below ground because it more suits them, it's better for survival. At the end of the day, the mutants and various creatures in that universe are organisms trying to survive, not just video game enemies. I mean, think about it. When you walk through an abandoned building, you know that place is full of, like, squirrels and raccoons and stuff, but you'll rarely see them. They're all hiding in the ceiling or in the walls or something. Hmm. Maybe we'll find something in the back of that truck. No, sadly, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. Time to explore some other areas. Yeah, why do these ladders want to pull me to the side? Oh, another one of the anomalies of the zone, I suppose. The one that doesn't let you use ladders. I guess, without anything left to do here, except, of course, for the underground, we'll head out. There appears to be something over that way. Screw you, bridge. I make my own bridge. Hmm. It's a whole lot of fuel trucks, or maybe water trucks? All parked at what seems to be some kind of abandoned farm. This place is kind of cool because when you look around, you can kind of see the overlapping layers of history. At some point it might have been a simple farmhouse, but here you can see it must have been at some point used as like a resupply depot or something. Now, whether that's pre-Chernobyl disaster, during the Chernobyl disaster, or even later during the second thing that happened, I think around 2006 in-game, and it's kind of hard to say. And all in all, I mean, that's the thing about... That's the thing about exploring, is that you can kind of look around and try and imagine what a place would have been like in use. Not just in terms of what it looked like, but in terms of the people that were walking through there, of the stories that have happened in that location. Ooh, an overturned fridge. Any goodies? No. I once found an overturned fridge full of cat food. I didn't partake of that either. Even though it was tempting. Anything off the back of the property? Uh, there's some construction equipment over there. Let's see what that's about. That looks like the remains of some kind of tower. Was it being built, or were these machines used to maybe knock it down for whatever reason? And away we go. Off in search of new parts of the map to explore. These bridges are actually doing the opposite for me right now. I have to go around them to cross these 
little wet areas. Calling them a river seems overly generous. Okay, why do those noises always seem to play as soon as I discover an ominous new location? Uh, is there any way I can turn on a light as I enter this tunnel? I would hate to have to leave this thing here. Uh, but I think I have to. Oh, thank God for that invisible wall. Oh, man, this was the scariest looking thing I've seen in a while. Uh, something about the griminess of the walls uh, just made it feel so old and honestly malicious, like I'm walking into the jaws of some ancient beast. Anyway, let's be going. Actually, it kind of reminds me of... That classic picture of what they call the Bunny Man Bridge. I'll throw that up on the screen if I can find it. But anyway, let's heroically split! So I think if I continue forward, that should take me to the other end of the rail bridge. And from there, I'll be able to see the edge of the map, right? Let's see if we can't maneuver around this wall. Another drain. I guess that's where we'll start. That is legitimately making me so sick going up and down these hills. I'm not somebody who usually gets nauseous in VR, but that is really getting me bad. It seems like there's a whole facility over that way. But we won't be checking that out until we've seen this. Left or right? Uh, I guess the only option is right. I mean left. I know things. Not directions, but things. And another camp. That's just a wall of darkness. No, that's just a wall of darkness. What is going on here? Th that's just... Did they, like, forget to texture over a no-draw here? Actually, now that I look at it... Look at the way that bedroll is kind of pulled over towards here. It's almost like somebody bedded down here for the night and... at some point was dragged towards this. Well, it just behaves as a wall. Maybe it's untextured or maybe it's a lighting bug, but... In any case, it's really spooky for me, so I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna be leaving the airboat behind because I, I just can't do that roller coaster anymore. It's something to do with the fact that I'm being rotated and turned in this direction and that, but my body knows it's not doing that, and it just completely throws me off balance. Which unfortunately means I'm back to wading through the rivers like a... Like somebody who wades through rivers. No matter how many times nothing happens in a Gary's Mod map, I can never quite reassure myself that that will remain the case. But you know what? I feel like just often enough something does. Uh, such as on... such as on maps like... Well, come to think of it, such as on RP Generators, which gave me quite a start. And to a lesser extent, I suppose, GM Crot. Actually, I'm not sure which of the two spooked me more. Hmm. Maybe some kind of research station? Judging by that dome on the roof? Can I open the doors to these... hangars? Oh, I actually can.
first structure I've been to with actual usable doors. Well, it's bright enough in here that I don't think I really need the flashlight for now. Ugh. Hey, come on. Hmm. Now, unlike the other places... I didn't do that. Unlike the other places, this place has actually been boarded up. From the looks of it, rather haphazardly. But why? Why this place and not everywhere else we've been to? Of course, there's a basement. A flooded basement. But one that's entirely caved in, not one we're going to have access to. This building is actually in significantly worse disrepair than the other facility we were at. These stairways are absolutely collapsing. In real life, I would not walk on something like this. Even if you made it, you'd have no safe way back. Come on. can't stand these timed doors. Always closing right behind me. Even though I intuitively know that they're on a timer, it still rings every single alarm bell for a g-g-g-ghost. Okay, I think we've seen just about everything there is to see in this building. But it does have an elevator indicating that there's clearly far more downstairs. A lot of horror through implication in that. I mean, look, this place was clearly being used for some kind of radioactive storage, but it's all down in the basement. Why'd they board this place up? What's down there? We'll never know. Unless there's some other way down there. And what are these things? Oh, we can get up on the roof. Maybe there'll be something to see there? At the very least, we can see this other corner of the map now. It's good to know where the edges are so that I can plan my route. Still, much like the other place, it doesn't seem like there's anything for me to find up here. Even though I'm following the road this way, I'm still keeping an eye out on my left, because I don't want to miss anything that might be in this marsh. Oh. Actually, it looks like it does continue on a ways. The road actually curves this way. Anything for us to see in this direction, or is this just some kind of map exit? It looks kind of like there's a pass up through the mountains. Yep, that's the edge of the map. Alright, I've looped back around to here, and I think I've seen everything there is to see, except for the underground at that facility. So, with much trepidation, I think that's my next and final target. Now remember, our goal down there is going to be to try and restore power by flipping three breakers, and if I'm correct, we've already flipped one of them above ground. Well, here we are. Down into the deep, deep dark once again. It just wouldn't be one of my explorers if there wasn't some kind of humongous underground. How come every map I explore has something like this? RP Downpour? RP Bangclaw? GM Catacombs? Although that last one I probably could have seen coming. Now remember, uh, when we saw down here before, uh, we saw that we can continue forward. Following that inviting line of lights down the middle, or we can make a left right here. I say inviting. It's inviting in the way an anglerfish's light is inviting to a fish. Right, 
so that goes that way. That goes that way. There's actually a lot of divots to the left. I wonder how far down they go. If it's pretty far, then I might have a lot of different fingers to explore here. There's definitely different sounds coming out of these tunnels. Something came down from that way. I can hear the crumbling sounds all over. This place ain't safe. Those are footsteps! Those are, the, those are those are footsteps. Um, okay, now I'm not sure if that's actually gonna be a thing. Is it just because I interacted with this door? Oh, but uh, maybe we can actually get beyond it. If we follow these stairs up here. Alright, um, what am I doing? I can climb these to get up there. That's the makeshift way of doing it. What's up here? I'm thinking we start high and work our way down, or maybe there's nothing down those other fingers, and I'm making the real progress now. Oh. Yeah, I think there's going to be more up here. I'm going to start with down below first. Oh, down this tunnel first. Collapsed. Oh! And a mini train was a casualty. Ugh. Having played Infra, seeing this seems like a real tragedy. Anything through here? Ah, oh, there's gonna be a whole secret lab down here, isn't there? Can't work the door, but here's another one of those breakers. And right as I pull it, I hear what sounds almost like a cough echo down the corridor. I think I had a little bit of a ceiling texture bug right there. Oh, I think this is looped back up to where I was a second ago. And I can once again hear those heavy, stomping footsteps. Is this time where I'm gonna need use of the safety glock? Okay, yeah, no, this has already looped back into where I was before. Um... Okay, so... Wait. There's much more here. <sighs> this is like three or four of my gaming phobias all at once. This room is huge and dark and flooded. I'm gonna have to walk down there to see what's on the other side. Meanwhile, this room is not flooded, but still very cluttered with machinery that casts all kinds of shadows around the room when I move my light over them. Okay. After deciding which phobia I did and didn't want to pursue, I've chosen the water. Oh, it's actually... Ah, oh, it's actually more than waist deep. I will be completely submerged if I allow myself to be. It's a good thing this is Gary's mod and I can keep myself above water with minimal effort. Oh, there's a walkway over here. <laughs> what was that noise? That was like a static type of thing. It pierced my ears. One of those sounds that's just... Just the right frequency to, like, resonate with my skull. Felt like it was scratching the back of my head. For just a moment, I was paralyzed, fully expecting Mr. X to come walking around that corner and duck under the doorway. At this rate, that might still happen. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? 
but it sounds like growls or snarls on my right. Should I have the safety glock for this? I, I almost wish... I almost wished I'd looked into that mod you guys said I should get where I can hold the flashlight in one hand and a gun in my right. This is the other side of the room with all the machinery. Hmm. It looks like this might have at one point been like a track or something. For some kind of cart. Yeah, but the tunnel is flooded. Oh, but it goes down a ways. I was hoping to see a collapse. Which would indicate that I don't have to go any farther. Alright, swim. Swim, swim. Oh, this is the worst. This is the worst. Oh. Oh, oh it's the submechanophobia room. <gasps> what are you stomping on? Okay, there's got to be some way, some way to get up out of this. Yes, right here, right here, right here. Up. Onto the mini train. This place has seen better days. All this crisscrossing steelwork. So many corners for something, so many corners for something to hide behind. Okay, run, 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 run. I love, though, how it's rewarding me for swimming down that seemingly inaccessible tunnel. I mean, oh, this is a crazy find. With how high the ceiling is, it's hard to believe that this is all underground. Underground construction is something that I just can't wrap my head around. Like the New York City subway system, when I see the size and scale of that, I almost can't believe that the city came first. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna have to wade through this to see if there's anywhere else I can go. Yep, we are definitely at maximum submechanophobia level here. You know, this is actually kind of inspiring me to make exactly that. Like some kind of underwater, like, diving level. I feel like that might be kind of cool. I don't know if that's been done yet. I'm definitely going to be playing around some in Hammer after that. It's always the things... This being a horror channel, it's always the things that I absolutely hate the most that inspires me to put those ideas into my own work. Anything this way? Oh, these hallways are getting quite cramped. Uh, yeah, I think I think we've been here, or have we? So many of these tunnels kind of go back and forth on each other that it's always hard to tell what direction I'm facing or even what floor I'm on. It's all such a loose connection. Is that the howls of the unfortunate souls who couldn't get out coming for me? I don't like how I'd never heard that sound before. At least I don't think so. And just how persistent it was once it started. And now the only thing left to do is see what's down this way. Yes? Uh. Oh, and, and I've completely forgotten to look for more breaker switches this whole time. I'm gonna have to go back and find the last one. I, th I think I've hit two out of three. I can't hear anything. 
I heard whispers, and then it went completely silent. Why? Okay, we'll come back to you. Oh. There's so much down this way. Are, are you a breaker box? Please, please, somebody just be a breaker box. I want to get these lights on. There's also a vent of doom for us to climb into. It, just when I think I'm nearing the end, things just keep getting better and better for me. Please, please, one of you just be a breaker box. Can I turn the valves, maybe? Probably not, right? Oh. This place is huge and dark and flooded, and I don't like it. The thing is, it's making me confront a lot of my gaming phobias, and it's not letting up on them. Most of the time when I do these explorers, there'll be sporadic areas here and there that I really don't like, but I just kind of have to push through them. Here, it's the entire place, and the length of time that I've been here is wearing on me as well. I've been doing this for well over an hour at this point, and man, I gotta say... I'm starting to feel it. Breaker? No. Wait, have we been here before? I keep getting turned around. This connectivity is really making things scarier. I feel like when there's a linear path, you kind of get an idea for what directions to expect a threat from. But here, everything connects in on everything else. And further, there's a lot of verticality to it and a lot of unknowns in the form of dark corners and waterways. And so you never really consider any direction to be clear. All the while, there's... I was going to say, all the while, there's all these echoing sounds all around you. Some of them sound quite directional indeed, but others you can't be so sure. I did not expect to find so much down this... ...way. That doesn't open. What would this all have been for? Oh, I do not like one bit how long this hallway is. And there's even more facility. I think that's the last breaker box. But... I can't help but feel that it's being almost presented to me. Was that not the last one? Are there more? Where does this come up? Over at the farm. So whatever this was, it was connected to whatever was going on here. Oh god, the daylight feels so good after being down there this whole time. The only thing is, I, I think I, as much as I hate it, I think I have to go back down there. I mean, has every breaker been flipped? What am I missing? I've definitely flipped three switches, but does the one up top maybe not count? I suppose let's see if there's anything down here, although... I'm not quite sure how I'm getting back up. Ugh. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, this was a staircase. Does this go back up to where I just was? Oh yeah, it actually does. Huh, I didn't even notice this here. Now, what's beyond this hole in the wall? Ugh, no. This must be, yeah, this is where we could have dropped down from there. This place sealed off behind that door. Question is why? Oh no, this is, okay, we've just looped back around. All right, so then where is that final, that final switch? Okay, that's among the more unnerving sounds I've heard. Uh, as much as I don't like to have to want to, I think I'm gonna have to climb into that vent. go that way. Looks like I can go this way. Oh, this comes out through here. Have we been here already? Kind of hard to tell. I think we must have, right? I was just looking around for that last breaker and I realized we can actually climb up there. Uh, this is why we look up. I can't use that. Hmm. See, I, I think these divots in the ground are actually mini train tracks. A little staircase on the right. Now let's go back first and check what's up on these walkways. Maybe we can find something interesting down this way. Uh, space to walk, but it doesn't seem like there's really anything up here. All right, back to that little stairwell it is. Oop. <laughs> that was the risky sprint of the day. I could very easily have fallen down there and broken both my legs and drowned. I'm sure you guys would like to see that. There's always more. Yes, there is. There is always, always more. We just restored the power. Oh, we did it. Yes. Uh, this place is looking a little bit more inviting already, although it's not sounding much better. Still got a bad coffer down in these tunnels somewhere. And at last, we found one. An intact mini train. I'm oh, sorry, is this yours? What is this, an elevator shaft of some sort? Yeah. You know what? Actually, I, I think this thing spans under the entire map because remember before when we were in that facility with the white dome on the roof, there was a piece of sheet metal that went under an elevator door. That looks like the other side of the piece of sheet metal. I think we're under that. If so, we've come a really long way. Uh, uh, which is really strange when you think about it. I mean, you look at that whole landscape and you don't even realize that something like this runs under the entire thing. That's crazy to think about. All right, let's climb up. Let's see what we can do. Oh, this door is open now. Come on. Yeah. I wonder what kind of things have changed all around the map. I also wonder if this might have at some point connected via the stairway. Or if that was just a regular basement. Yeah, I wonder if this has changed things all over. But I'm content to call it here. A really interesting map, and really crazy how once you've explored the whole surface area, once you kind of have a sense of 
where everything is, a mental map, you go down into the underground and now you completely lose that mental map. You have no idea where you're going or where you've been. But you keep coming up in all these familiar areas. The whole thing feels so claustrophobic and yet you don't even realize how far you've actually traveled. Absolutely beautiful on the surface and terrifying down below. Actually, in a lot of ways, reminds me of GM Crot. You know, I kind of consider this now to be in a family with this, RP Generators, and GM Crot. Of course, besides the fact that they both take inspiration from Stalker, they also, you know, have that in common. A beautiful overworld and... A terrifying underground riddled with horrifying sounds that make you think there's something just around the corner. Well, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to do that is at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this map out for yourself, that link will be down below as well. And as always, I will see you in the next one.